Hey everybody, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're gonna to talk about my EDC. So you guys have been asking for a while for me to do an EDC update, so we're gonna take a look at my kits and sort of talk about the mentality of EDC when it comes to what I choose to carry on an everyday basis. I think we're all familiar with EDC and what it stands for, which is everyday carry, and items like a flashlight, a lighter, a knife, those are items that I carry every day on me or very close by. So EDC for me is all about kits and all about redundancy. And that's sort of my philosophy behind what I carry every day. There's times when I can't carry something as big as this pouch. And there's other times where I can't carry, you know, anything but a wallet and maybe a mini kit. So let's get rid of all this stuff and let's start at the basics and work our way up from there. So when I head out for the day, I at least make sure I have the bare minimum kit with me and that would be the items here below. So let's take a closer look at that. Of course, I have my sunglasses. I don't often go anywhere without these. My eyes are pretty sensitive to the sun. So sunny days, I definitely have sunglasses. So just like many other people, I don't often go anywhere without my cell phone. Now a cell phone is very handy for survival, not only just for the communication aspect of it, but you can also use things like the GPS, apps for tree or wild edible identification, different books that you can store on here with you know just tons and tons of information, whatever you're into, and obviously the camera and map functions as well. And most of that can be used without a signal. So a cell phone is very important when it comes to my EDC. I always have a wallet on me and this is the Core Nano wallet from 777 Gear. This is a prototype. I do believe they're selling them now. I'll put a link below to their website. Some of my other kits are also 777 Gear, but it's basically just a tri-fold wallet. Um, have my identification and things in the clear part have my credit cards and things like that in the center section. And then what's unique to this wallet is that it has this uh, nylon retention or elastic section over here where you can keep other items. So I have a backup knife in here. It's just a little cold steel mini recon. And then I always have a bullet pen with me. Um, I'm always keeping notes. I keep notes in these right in the rain pads for videos I'm gonna do. As you can see here, I have a bunch of them. And uh, you know, they're full of all my video notes and research that I do on products that I bring to you guys. So I always have a notebook with me and I always have a way to write in that notebook with the space pen. It also has a little Velcro enclosure in the back here where you could keep things like a Band-Aid or just little items. You could throw a water filter tablet in there or something like that. I don't think I have anything in there at the moment, but a great little wallet and a great way to carry backup items. I have a knife in there, but you could easily throw a flashlight in there as well. And keep in mind with my kit, pretty much everything complements everything else. So since I have items on my keychain, I'm not gonna double those items up in the wallet. Speaking of my keys, I like to keep it pretty minimal when it comes to my keys and I rotate items out pretty often. I used to have a little CRKT knife on here, which I switched for a Leatherman Micra. Then I was trying out the Gerber Dime for a while and I've really narrowed it down to just carrying this little ALOX Swiss Army knife. I use this thing all the time. It's got a little knife in it, opening packages and things like that. It's got a little file, which I don't often use. And then it's got a great pair of scissors on it. So very handy and you can see just how very small it is. I have this Leatherman Bruiser on here. It works great as a pry tool and then also as a cap lifter. A couple keys on here and then I have a USB drive. I keep photos and important documents and things like that on these or if I just need to transfer some data between computers, it's always handy to have a USB device uh, on my keys. Uncle Bill's sliver grippers. These are great, very powerful pair of tweezers always come in handy. And then something that I just added on here that I just got in to test is this little Kuyu uh, flashlight. This thing is awesome. I'm gonna be doing a review on it, but it's a very bright uh, two-stage uh, keychain light. You can see just how small it is. And the great thing about this light is that it's USB rechargeable just by unscrewing the cap. So if you thought something like the Nikkor tube was small, this thing is super small 
and it's USB rechargeable. It also comes in several different finishes. This is the, the copper model that I have, and then there's also a titanium model. I'm gonna be giving away this titanium model after I do the review video, so be on the lookout for that. Last thing on my keys is just this paracord lanyard that I made. It's very handy for if I just dump my pot keys into my pocket, I can leave this part hanging out and I can easily pull out my keys. So I like having that on there, plus it's a little bit of extra cordage. So in my front pockets, I generally don't ever go anywhere without a lighter, some way to start fire, some chapstick, very handy for not only keeping your lips uh, you know, hydrated, but also works as sunscreen, or as you know, uh, rubbing on a wound, or you can even use that for fire starter. So very handy stuff. And then I always have a pocket knife with me. This is the Kershaw Link. Um, I've rotated that out with lightweight multi-tools such as the Skeletool. And then recently I've been carrying the, uh, the Alox Farmer. This has the Alox scales on it and has a, you know, a large knife and a saw. And then I have this, just this little, um, uh, I forget what these are called, maybe P71 or something like that, uh, pocket clip. And it works great because I can just stick this down in the pocket and clip this on and no one knows I have a knife in my pocket. So that works really well and I've been carrying that a lot lately. So in addition to all this stuff, I always have a watch on. Now this watch has a compass in it, it has a way to tell the temperature, and then obviously a way to tell time and date. And then on the other wrist, I always have a paracord bracelet, which gives you a lot of cordage. So that's pretty much it when it comes to just my core EDC. It gets me by even if I don't have anything else with me. Now I have two other kits that I consider sort of my extended EDC, two kits that I often carry, and I will even show you my extended EDC pack, which I'll generally carry maybe if I'm going into the mall or you know going to an event for my family or something like that. The core stuff that I carry is great for every situation, such as a wedding or maybe going to church or something like that, where you're not gonna carry a whole. But if I'm just going out for the day, generally I'll carry one of these two kits too, and they both will fit down into a car pocket this one easier than the larger one so I'll generally just keep this in my pack no matter what pack I'm carrying it's very easy to throw these in your pack and you can swap them between packs because I'm generally switching between maybe my bush crafting pack my day pack you know maybe a camera bag or something like that if I'm going out to film so these kits come in really handy because I can just throw them in the different kits and packs that I have so if you saw yesterday's video on the solar panel, if you look closely at my pants cargo pocket, this was in there. And again, it's a redundancy and it allows me to carry a few items that I can't carry just with my core EDC. So this is another kit from 777 gear. Again, I'm gonna put some links below. Just has this elastic retention. I've shown this before, but we can get an update. And it's basically just like a, a mini survival kit. I have a lot of good things in here and it's great to have these things should I need them. So I have a backup lighter. Again, always great to have a backup fire source of some kind. So if I forget, for example, to put my lighter in my pocket, which I don't often do, I got another one in this kit. I've got the Leatherman Micra and it's on a long bit of cordage here. Again, great pair of scissors and some backup tools if I need them. I have this little telescoping zebra pen, very handy little pen. Again, I use pens all the time to keep notes and things like that. I've got a little light in here. So in addition to the one on my keys, if I didn't have my keys, for example, this is just a little stream light micro stream, nice little light to keep in a kit of this size. I recently showed you this, it's my Altoids small survival kit. This has all sorts of cool stuff in it. You know, a little roll of duct tape, some matches, some different fire tinders. I've even got a little fishing kit and things like that in here. So great little kit and I just throw it in here. On the other side of this kit, I have a whole bunch of stuff and this is all in a lock sack bag, but I have a survival whistle. I got some matches. I got a little striker, a little bit of uh, super glue in there. There's a little mini compass, roll of duct tape, some more uh, lip balm slash sunscreen, some little tinder quicks, 
um, a bunch of first aid here, some Tylenol, Advil, Neosporin, uh, duct tape band-aids, which are very cool. Um, so a lot of different things packed into this little kit here. I think there's even a signal mirror in here. So a lot of different items that I could use and it packs down very small into this little kit from 777 gear. Then in the last pocket here on the other side, I just have a, I believe this is a one quart container. It's a bag that you can use to put water in and then just some water purification tablets. So if I needed to purify some water, if I got stuck somewhere, I could do that using this kit. So again, this little kit works great to complement the things that I carry on my person every day. And this right here is pretty much a complete survival kit minus cover, which you know I can pretty easily make in the woods, for example. There's woods and water all over Michigan. So with this stuff, it's pretty complete as far as a mini survival kit goes and doesn't take up a whole lot of space. So I have a little bit larger version of this smaller kit. It's basically the same exact thing, just allows me to carry more. This is something that I'll generally just throw between packs. If I'm taking a day pack out, I'll throw it in there. If I'm taking a bushcrafting pack, I'll throw it in there. If I'm just taking my camera gear and some items to test out in the woods that I'm gonna record, for example, I'll make sure that I throw that in there. And again, it's just sort of a redundancy version of this kit. So I don't necessarily take both of these. I would just take one or the other. So just like the smaller kit, the larger kit has a lighter as well. And then I carry a full-size multi-tool in here instead of the Micra. This is the Leatherman Wave in green. Very handy multi-tool to have. Not much you can't do with that. I just have a little clip here. It's nice to have little clips or carabiners on your gear. Never know when you might want to clip something uh, together or hang something from your pack, for example. Um, have some chaps chapstick. Again, always handy. I have a through night. This is their Archer. Uh, I believe it's their A1 V2. So it's a uh, very nice little light and comes in very handy uh, when I need a flashlight. I have these Exotac little fire starting uh, kits. This one's just a ferro rod. It unscrews from the handle and then you can flip it around and it works great as a little um, mini ferro rod. And then I have their match uh, holder, which has some stormproof matches in there. And then I believe there's just some cotton stuff down in the cap. So pretty good ways to start fire if my lighter were to fail. Just like in the sleeve of the smaller kit, I have some items in the sleeve of this kit. Again, another one quart uh, container with some aqua tabs or some purification tablets there. And then I have some quick clot so a little bit more uh, first aid and way to treat water there. Then in the other side here, I have a survival blanket. I have a couple other little tinder things. I have live fire in here, some super glue, some bug spray and uh, insect or, or sunscreen and insect repellent. Very handy. I'm always forgetting my insect spray when I go out to the woods, for example, and I can just grab this from this kit. So it's nice to know I have that in there. And then I just have pretty much a, the same little uh, first aid kit as I have in this one, band-aids, you know, a few little pain relievers, and then I have a signal mirror in there as well. So depending on what I'm doing, generally when I head out for the day, I'll always have a pack on me. Now, if I'm just running into a place really quick, I'm not gonna take a pack, but if I'm gonna take my daughter to the zoo, for example, go to a movie, or you know maybe walk around the mall, I generally will take a small pack like this. This is just an EDC Posse pack, from 3V gear and it works great as a small sling style pack that I can get away with carrying when I go uh, into places such as the grocery store, for example. So we can take a quick look at the contents of this pack. Basically, it's just gonna complement what I have in here. This is really the survival kit, but you know I do carry so, uh, several larger items in here that I can't fit down into the other kits. And again, for me, it's all about redundancy and you know complementing what I carry in other places. So I don't think I have anything in this front pouch, but it's handy for uh, you know things like maps or documents. So in this lower front pocket here, I just have some cordage, which I have in other areas like limited on my keychain or on my bracelet, but this is a good maybe 30 or 40 feet of uh, cordage. 
Some insect repellent, again, I always forget insect, insect repellent, so it's great to have that close by. I have an EGTAC uh, or Eagle Tac flashlight in here as a backup. I have a water filter, so you know, much better than purifying water, I'll just drink out of a water purification straw. And then down in here, I just have a uh, compass and then a little backup uh, USB cable for keeping my stuff charged if I forget a cable. In the top section here, again, a few more redundancies. I just have a uh, book of waterproof matches, some pocket tissue, very handy to have. Maybe you gotta go to the bathroom somewhere out in the woods, or you know, my daughter's runny nose, for example, it's always handy to have that. Have another lighter, have lighters pretty much in every kit. And then I have a small flashlight here. Now this is generally not in this kit, but I just threw it in here because it was in the car. This is the Olight S1. I have a review on that as well. Another thing that I'll generally always have in here, which I don't right now, is hand sanitizer or hand wipes. Um, we went to one of those bounce houses, and so I think I used the, uh, the rest of that to clean my daughter's hands after being in, uh, in the bounce houses. Then in the main compartment here, I don't carry much just because I like to have uh, room available for stuff that I might pick up, you know, along the way. Maybe I buy something again at the zoo or, you know, out to eat or something like that. You never know what we're going to come across. So I don't really have anything in the main pockets here other than I do have an anchor solar panel. I just did a review yesterday on that and that fits nicely down into the back of this pack. So it gives me a way to always top off my cell phone or lights or any other piece of USB gear. And then I always carry a uh, battery bank with me as well. This is an anchor battery bank. So that slips down nicely in here. And with those two combined, I can always keep my electronics charged no matter where I go and how long I'm out. On the strap here, I have a Kershaw Cryo, just sort of a backup knife, just in case I don't carry a pocket knife or I forget and I don't have any other cutting tool on me, just a backup knife on the strap. Then the last part of this pack, which is great, is being able to carry my firearm. I keep that in the back of this EDC Posse pack. Sometimes I'll carry it on my hip, especially in the cooler months. Uh, I'll carry it in my on my hip. But in the warmer months, maybe I'm wearing shorts or something like that, and it's just not very comfortable to carry my firearm on my side, I'll keep it in a pack like this. And if I didn't show that to you, you would probably never know it's there. Now in the main compartment of this EDC Posse pack, there's also a hidden location for carrying a concealed. If you pull this part up, it's all Velcro in the back here so I can put a holster there and then once you lay this flap over you don't even know it's there but I like keeping it uh, closer at hand so I keep it in this back section here it snaps together but I also just put this little paracord pull on it so I can just quickly pull and get to my firearm that way so all hook and loop on the back of that and it doesn't really affect the comfort it's got this nice pad here so it works out well this is a great little pack an inexpensive pack and a great way to have a bunch of items on me no matter where I'm going again if I'm not going to be throwing anything else in here I can throw this this pack this kit or the other kit in here as well but again Generally, I'll layer up my kits so that they're redundancies so that I don't have to carry all these different little kits. But, you know, better safe than sorry, and it's always good to have redundant options. So those do fit down in there as well. And again, I can swap these between packs no matter what I'm carrying. The last item would be a fixed blade, and I generally will have something like this neck knife on me. Now, not all the time, but it's generally in this pack. And if I head out to the woods, I'll generally have a neck knife on me as well. So I do consider that part of my EDC. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video today, taking a look at my EDC and some of the items that I have on me or close by on an everyday basis. EDC is a pretty important part of survival for me. I use my EDC items nearly daily and I would be pretty lost without them as well as if I get into a sticky situation I always have some gear that will at least help me uh, be in a better place than I would without it 
So if you guys wanna show me pictures or a video of your EDC, you can head over to worldwidesurvival.com, sign in with your Facebook or your email, and it's very easy to post pictures and videos and get those photos and videos seen by the rest of the community over there at Worldwide Survival. You can also obviously share them on my Google Plus or Facebook page as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you share it to your friends who might be interested on social media, Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter. You can follow me on those social media sites just by clicking the links below in the description. As always, guys, if you haven't already done so, please click that red subscribe button for more videos.